everyone welcome to another episode of exos heroes so basically we're here to review three new heroes which is pretty much very unexpected because we were expecting who um we were expecting nemeris to come along so then they dropped this on us so i'm not sure what the devs are really up to but this actually was already teased but i think this is this is actually a wrong timing for this banner to drop okay because again um i really don't you know they don't have this you know this set i think is good but right now in terms of if you're going to build momentum in terms of interest with the player base i don't think this is it so <laughs> this actually uh, is pretty much you know very off of what we're expecting so anyway nemeris i think will come after this one but you know might as well review it while it's here right so let's start off with the new hero update okay so new heroes from new nation has been updated so confirmed we have a new country or nation called pedas okay new nation pedas again another general um that we have so these three are prithioff dana and lang so again this was discussed in my in a teaser that i discussed a while back i'll put a link up there if you actually want to see that teaser but before that guys I, I i highly encourage you to join our discord server for any discussions on exos heroes okay we'll proceed now with what we have here so the period would be tomorrow the update up to april 1 which is april fool so they've really fooled us <laughs> fooled we are okay <laughs> i really don't mind this update but more the, uh, I, I i don't mind these heroes but the timing is really off so um for pre prethioff again is it pre or pre pri or pre okay anyway it's prethioff head of bellion house okay he is the general of this group so as an heir to the one pedas most influential family so as i can see his design is basically he's a high royalty elf so pretty of us again spelling guys spelling spell check because see here, here it's pre pri pre now it's pri so he was born mute okay uh, had to enjoy uh, even through many hardships without the gift of speech so a a mute swordsman which i think has a very good skill he is the ruler he's the head of billion house so let's proceed to his skills so first and foremost a very long passive first he has thrust three so it deals damage to attacker upon taking damage 30 percent afflicts the attacker with stun up for 5 to 12 turns based on the current health when the attack hits gains mana uh if the health target is 80 percent or uh, removes <laughs> okay breath of mana is over over time effect front row allies permanently gain one mana so build formation is his unique passive i think so mark build mark grants build formation to an ally with lower defense than self again um i think that he is similar he's with a similar build to to um shufraken shufraken also has thrust and his um his uh unique passive is based on defense as well start of the turn increase health of the mark ally by 50 percent of the target's defense okay so health increases of allies based on his defense 50 percent of the target's defense for each build formation mark on all allies so uh we <laughs> don't know how to put this but more or less um the health of your ally scales based on his defense and based on the number of build formation mark on all allies so 50 effectiveness for back row heroes okay 
at this point we all have a different interpretation of this one but from my guess it scales off again um uh, his defense and for each formation mark on all allies so your best guess is also my best guess i don't want to elaborate on this because we'll be you know arguing throughout <laughs> throughout this one so next would be life and death over time effect increases health and defense of all allies by 10 percent and block of front row allies by five percent of own defense okay good as well increase health and defense pretty much a defensive you know defensive uh, general and uh, increases health and defense for both okay more or less <clears throat> if i may compare again he's kind of a mix of mix of shufraken and garf so he make they mixed you know they mixed both of them and they got this one so Next would be Undisturbed Mark increases own block value by 30%. Okay. This is good because it increases the mark value. His own mark. Mark increases own block, block value by 30%. If there are three or more allies in front row at the start of battle. Okay. So basically, he scales his defense um, 30% of his base defense if if your front row has three allies at the start of the battle so they should be alive i think it doesn't mention here that probably they, they could be okay if they died but you know it doesn't mention here that they should be alive so anyway as long as you have three on the front um this would trigger okay next will be his s1 which is silent trio so it's required mana two deals 375 percent damage to one enemy so it's a single target spell so special turns one enemy except the target with the highest attack that is not afflicted by status effect for five turns okay if, if the skill hits an enemy affected by any status effects okay let's read this for a while stuns one enemy except the target okay with the highest attack and is not affected by status effects okay so there are exemptions to the skill the lowest attack will be affected and and not affected by status effects okay so more or less your squishy characters will be or squishy heroes will be affected by this one that's it so uh, sorry not, not your squishy ones the lowest attack of the enemy heroes will be affected by this one and also should not be affected by status effects. pretty much very tricky because there are a lot of conditions to this one um i don't know i don't know um could be good could be bad at this point i think i'm leaning towards yeah, meh. not really good because that's a lot of conditions and usually you don't you don't get to measure who who has the highest attack and who's not you should, you can measure you can check if they're they're not affected by status effects but in terms of attack not sure okay for here for his s2 you have three deaths so deals 200, 255% damage to all enemies. Re mana required is 4. No burst skill. So I don't know, guys. Uh, pretty much more or less first impression is um, kind of I'm kind of the fence with this one in terms of what it can really contribute. Probably they they'll throw in a god tier you know god tier FC for this one to make this better. But again, I don't think he'll be used right now, especially with the meta going crazy with FC Schmidt. Um, soon going to be in the top of the meta. Um, but I'm not sure if he has a place right now. So better move on to the others. So let's reserve our you know uh, reserve him for you know the future. Just in case he gets another god tier FC, so we'll wait for him. But for now, he is just there, you know, a uh, collection for, for people. Um, I'll tell you later if this banner is, is you know, their banner is is uh, worth your pull. Okay. Next would be Dana, so innocent, delinquent, delinquent girl. Okay, delinquent. Innocent and delinquent. I don't know if you could put that together, but... <laughs> I'm sure you can't. <laughs> An innocent girl who never loses her smile. Okay. Yeah, pretty much smiles. Very, very big smile. She's probably a witch. That's why she has a broom. 
So loved by anyone. Blah blah. Why is the pure? Okay, Dana. Let's move on to your skills. Okay. Passive is mana absorb three, so removes enemy buffs and gains mana one mana. Gains mana one additionally if health of target is at 80% or more. Removes one mana from the target and gains mana one mana to self if health of target is at 30%. Okay. So the your your basic mana absorb. Next would be your Zephyrus Broom. Okay, her broom. Her her broom has a name, Zephyrus. Okay, cool. <laughs> Required mana is to all deals 63% damage to all enemies. It has a damage, it has overtime effect, afflicts target with burn, dealing 39% damage every turn for two turns. Nah. Um, there are a lot better skills than this one. Anyway, for your for her S2, you have their Wind Duster. Okay, so required mana is three, deals five twenty five damage to one enemy. Again, not a burst burst spell. So special if the caster has build formation mark, deals two hundred fifty percent additional piercing damage. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I think so. I think so. But again. This is dependent on if you bring her with pretty awful. So let's move on to Lang. Lang is a, you know, <laughs> is a cat. I think so. So my daughter will, will, you know, will be excited with this, with this creature. So Miss Mythical Beast of Bellion. So no one knows what Lang really is, but I think it's a cat. <laughs> it's a big furry cat. Okay. So anyway, it's good that now we have you know um, we have um, we have creatures in in the hero. So we have we had a loom, then we have Lang. So it's a good good start. I I think we could we could do more with the creature thing in in XO Zero. So again, very good. I like this design, the fat cat. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's go next to his passive. The passive mana utilization three increase attack based on mana count. This is actually good. This is one one of the better passives that uh, we already have. And so his um, his uh, his or her. I'm not sure if it's a his or her. Um, hunting instinct. So passive mark. If the caster has build formation mark, afflicts hunting instinct mark on target when own attack hits. So it's like prey. So when you afflict someone on the other side, they get hunting instinct. Brr, see, I told you so. It's a cat. Okay, afflict sleep to enemies with three or more hunting instinct marks for seven turns. So the enemy should have three or more for them to trigger sleep, and it removes removes all hunting instinct marks from the target. Nice, pretty much, very nice. Pretty much very nice. I'm not sure. Oh, he doesn't have damage over time. So, oh, nearly, nearly there, nearly there. Anyway, for his, for his or her S1, Cosmic Cat. See, it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat. Confirmed. It's a cat. It's a big furry cat. <laughs> Deals 178% damage to all enemies. Record mana is three. Okay, and S2 would be, I thought that it was Pooping Snowball, but no, it's Popping Snowball, sorry. Pooping Snowball, that could have been hilarious if they, you know, if they misspelled this one. <laughs> okay, Popping Snowball. Okay, Active 2, S2, Record Mana is 5, so it's a Burst Spell, this is good. I think this, this, this hero is going to be good. I'm going to pull for the, the banner because of this hero. So all deals 375% damage to all enemies and also a burst spell. Very good. I like I like Lang because you know um better better passive and S2 than Dana. So again, I think I'd pull for this banner even for this alone. This is very unique. Okay. So anyway, precautions. Um for you tomorrow to pull on these, these are your hero chance up. So Lang is at 1%. It's good. He's at 1. Dana, I'm not sure, but I don't know why she, she's at 0 
while Lang is actually, I think, better than her in terms of design, in terms of kit. Prithioff is at 0 0.5 as well. So, like, a Fate Core, I don't know why they put out this, you know, this chance up, chance up recruit, this ridiculous, 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 ridiculously low chance recruit. So, I'm going to pull probably, I still, I think, have 7,000 Zest. So, more or less, um, more or less, I can pull 10 tomorrow. So in order to achieve, so there are 28 core mileages for this one. Okay, so that's basically it. So you're asking me right now, will you pull for this? Will you pull for this? I'm saying if, you know, you're not me, I don't think you should pull for this one. I don't think, I don't think this is a banner worth pulling at this point. Because right now, I don't think you'll have even, you know, the opportunity to use them. But again, for the sake of the love of the game, I'll be pulling for this banner tomorrow. Probably have, you know, have a review on some of the heroes individually. Um, and um, more or less, if you have, you know, Zest guys, I, I don't recommend you pulling for this one. Unless you really like the characters. I'd like to pull for Pretheof. <laughs> breathy of again wrong spelling um so more or less um if you like the characters if you like the design pull for them they're uh, at this point basically cosmetic so it's all it also happened to vagabond so with schmidt again when he got his fc he got crazy um carrie is next i think with it with her fc so when she came out she wasn't used now it's their turn they're coming out now and i'm sure they they aren't going to be used but i i think that prethiov will have a very good fc based on what they're putting out recently okay anyway guys that's it for me so more or less this is my review of the next heroes that are coming out so more or less put down below comment suggestions what do you think of these heroes and um do you like them aesthetically, skill, skill wise, and your opinions as well? Okay. So anyway, take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.